Okay, hello. <laughs> hello, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, hope you guys can see my nipple. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Listen, give this video a thumbs up. Give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Watch the content. This is going to be a two-month update. Quit my job in March. It is now June. Okay. And just a quick recap um, for anyone that is new here. I am Cece. I did take out my hair. I'm wearing this little wig or whatever. But it's not on yet. Okay. So real and authentic me right now. I want to give you guys an update in this video on how I've been. You know, the last video, I was kind of going through it. And then, like, overnight, my life has completely, not completely changed, but just changed a little bit, you know. And I'm overly grateful. So, um, having no job is not for the week, okay? Let me just start off seeing that, okay? Mentally, I have still been just up and down with my emotions. I have a good day. I have a sad day. I have a weird day. I have a I don't know day. You know what I'm saying? Those days are normal, right? But financially, my bank account is in the negative, okay? But the good thing about it is everything is paid for right now. Um, at this current moment, I am not in need of anything. Well, I'm in need of more money, but... <laughs> Anyways, um, God provides, you know what I'm saying? He provides, um, as you guys can see, I have moved, um, I am in a new home and I feel like it's a new me, new energy, new me, new things are coming, new things are shifting, right? So basically, um, I ended up moving, right? And this place will help me get back on my feet, right? I've been wanting this place to reach out to me for like ever now, right? Hello. And I don't have to worry. Come here. Come here. Ooh. You want some sides? I'm sorry, I'm breastfeeding the baby at the same time. She just decided she wanted to hop on the nipple. Um, so this place, I don't have to worry about rent. I don't have to worry about a light bill. So I'm very grateful for that right now. As I'm still, you know, searching for the income, it's really hard to find a job. You know, it's really hard to, you know, get things on your own or whatever. Because like I said, I will go back to working if it's like overnight or if it's like a chat job. Something that I can actually do with the girls, you know, until YouTube, you know, eventually kicks off for me. But, um, because the side hustles is just not bringing in much, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm very grateful to be in this place where I don't have to, like, stress about, you know, paying those bills. I'll still always have a place to live because, like I said, this place will help me get back on my feet. And I'm just really grateful because everybody has their own room here. Anaya has her own room. Tamaya has her own room. I have my own room. Now, of course, the baby is with me. So, I'm just going to use her room as, like, my second office for right now. Because I have made an office area for downstairs as well. But um, we have more make, more decorations and things to do or whatever. But anyway, so really how I've been doing without a job is pretty much just winging it every week. Um, the money that I manifested for this place, you know, um, it came, you know, it wasn't out of nowhere, but it came, you know, because I started using these affirmations like, my name is CC and only good things happen to me. I kept saying that. I, my name is CC and the money I need is coming to me. Like, when I even got the movers and I had got a deal for the movers or whatever, they only moved all the big stuff. So I still have to go back and you move the other stuff. But they were willing to move everything. But I'm just like, no, I'm only paying you guys a certain amount. Like, and they're like, no, you don't have to pay us anything extra. We'll do it. But I was just like, eh. you know, I don't want to feel like I was just kind of like doing too much. But they were like literally angels and it was fine as hell. But anyways, we're not talking about them, okay? Let me stay on topic, okay? I, I be doing that sometimes, but they were cute. So I'm gonna post a short. I got a quick little video of them, okay? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Well, you fine, I'm be cool. Excuse you. Excuse you. Okay, sorry. Anyways, but um, I'm doing great. I'm just winging it every week, you know? Money will come. 
like I said, I manifested the money to come this week for my move and then my account went back into the negative. <laughs> so I'm like, damn, like every time I manifest the money, I have to spend it for something and then, but listen, it's going to come back to me. So I'm just going to keep saying my affirmations, but that literally is what changed my life. Instead of me sitting around and like, okay, I have no money, this and that, blah, blah, blah. God is literally teaching me like, listen, remember when you were homeless, but this time you don't have a job, but you still have a place to stay. You don't have to worry about rent now. You don't have to worry about a light bill. You know, I still have to worry about like utilities as like my car notes. Well, my car notes paid up until November, but like um, my insurance, give me those. Look at you, try to be sneaky. When's the last time y'all had Mike and Ice? I don't eat candy like that, but I've been craving them here. You can have a turn and bite. Say hi, Naya. <laughs> She look a little crazy. She just woke up. But, um, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Um, my nails. So you guys know, he was like, he's like teaching me like, you know, okay, you can get things, but you always get it back. You know what I'm saying? I feel great that I can be able to, you know, do things because we have a park right outside, which is great in my new place. I can just take the girls to the park. I don't have to, you know, get up and work and this and that. And I love that feeling of just being at peace and relaxed because at my old place, I was going to have to pay rent. I already paid my rent for June. That's why I was able to like break my lease and, you know, whatever, move or whatever, because I had already paid up my rent um, for the next month or whatever. And then, listen, it worked out and everything that I had um, manifested and wrote down that I wanted to happen for this move, it happened. And I'm grateful for that, right? Um, but I feel like God is kind of like teaching me like, you know, it's okay. You don't have your nails done right now. Like you'll have your nails done another day. It's okay. You can't pay your hairstylist to do your hair. And it's crazy because my hairstylist, she was like, listen, if you need a free hair do or whatever, I got you. Like, you was really, you know, treat me right, you know what I'm saying, when I was doing your hair. I got you. But it's like, I don't want to have to, like, I don't know. I don't want to get my hair done and, like, have that for free. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I like to bless people, though. So, um, anyway, I feel like karma. Hold on in a way it's getting me in regards to like material things you know i don't need these material things because now i'm here i feel like this big weight just lifted off of me like i just feel so good being here and this new place is good energy i'm so happy that everybody has their own room i don't have to stress over paying a rent you know what i'm saying like i can just really get myself back together you know what I'm, and, and i'm just really happy i'm really grateful i'm really blessed and um yeah, so that's how it's going, you know. I feel like the money will come here and there. I'll just be able to take care of things as they need. Um, but right now, I just don't want to stress over anything because, you know, like, when you quit your job and you do this off of faith, you're like, okay, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't see what's going to happen. I can only pray and wish for good things to happen to me, you know. And um, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like really good energy coming and as soon as i moved into my place y'all i got in bed you know we bathe bathe the kids and everything like that literally i looked on my um my analytics i had gained like for both channels because i have two youtube channels for both channels like 20 subscribers and i'm like that's weird that's so weird but i felt like it was like okay new energy new you new subscribers like I don't know. So I'm hoping that one day I start, you know, making money from YouTube so I can do that full time. I did go ahead and hire the manager, the YouTube manager um, for this channel or whatever. He's going to start soon, but I don't have any money to pay him right now. So he is basically giving me like how much I'm going to owe him or whatever. So I'm basically like doing the work, but not paying him yet until I get money. But y'all, it's just stressful. Like, I'm grateful, but I'm also scared, you know. But I know that good things are coming, so I just got to stay positive. Regards to the assistance, I ended up getting the food assistance as well, which is a plus because food is so high right now. So I'm happy that I'm able to get the food assistance. Uh, we ain't never going to have to worry about food. I don't know. I'm just really grateful right now. <laughs> like, a couple of weeks ago, I was stressed out. How I was going to do this, do that. 
you know, and I still have to worry about how I pay my insurance for July. But right now, it's the beginning of June. My insurance is paid for June. Thank you to my mom. Thank you to my uh, daughter's grandma because she paid the insurance last month. My mom paid it this month. I'm like, I'm just grateful. And of course, you know, I'm going to pay my mom back or whatever. But it's just like, I'm grateful that, you know, I've been taking care of people for so long. And then I still have people here for me. It's like, listen, I got you. Like, what do you need? Because this place really came in clutch, y'all. Like, I don't understand how, I don't know if y'all understand, like, how much this came in clutch. <laughs> like, your girl, like, I, I didn't want to be homeless, you know what I'm saying? And as I was, like, signing the paperwork and stuff, and she's like, um, you know, don't worry about this, don't worry about that. And I was just like, Ren, she was like, you don't have to pay. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I'm happy that I'm here. I'm happy. Look at my crazy guy. Come on, Oh my god! Look at like I want your nipple. I'm about to try to braid her hair or do something to her hair. I don't know, but this girl she just won't stay still. Like, do y'all have kids? Cause she just won't stay still when I try to do her hair. When she was younger, she did. Now that she's getting older, she's like. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I might have to just do it when she sleep or. <laughs> Look at her trying to be in the camera. Look at you trying to be in the camera, girl. With your wild hair. But yeah, so. That is that. Um, like I said, I am, you know, still applying at places, you know, because I really do want um, something that could be overnight until YouTube kicks off because my daughter's birthday is in July. That's coming up. You know, her school tuition for July is coming up. Well, for June is coming up. Um, oh, my hands are getting heavy. There's just a lot of stuff. Honey, stop trying to be in the camera. <laughs> She's like, let me get in the camera. But yeah, so that's how, this is the two month update. I'm gonna probably do another update and another two months. Every two months, I'll probably do an update or you know, if I end up finding the job, I guess that's just that. But for right now, I am just winging it and you know, trying to do a side hustle here and there to make some extra money so I can just, you know, have gas and take care of my daughter's tuition and stuff like that. And hopefully, you know, things just continue to go good for me. Um, speaking these positive affirmations, I'm probably, you know, once things kick off regards to my career on YouTube, I'm probably going to do a second ebook right now. I want to invest into my first ebook, my positive affirmations ebook. Yes. Check that out down below guys. If you guys want the positive affirmations, because literally the affirmations I've been using this week is really how I've been really getting by the last couple of months. Like literally, you know, I have money here and there and then now I'm negative again, but it's teaching me that these things are not, these are just material. Like I'll always get money again. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't have to hold on to that. And mentally, like when you leave a job, your mind is like, what am I going to do? This and that, blah, 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 this and that. But I didn't know I was going to get approved uh, for this place. You know, where I wasn't going to have to, you know, pay, you know, I didn't know that I was going to you know, have my car note paid up until November. I didn't, well, I didn't know because I planned out for that to be paid up, but I didn't really know this, you know? I do need gas in my car right now, but I have enough to get me to where I need to go tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So all I can think about right now is today. <laughs> and today everything is taken care of. What? Baby, you see me recording. <laughs> I gotta go, y'all. Baby wants attention. <laughs> hi. <And> say hi. <laughs> All right, y'all. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel below. Tell your mama. Tell your daddy. Tell your grandma about my channel. <laughs> I'm trying to get out here, y'all. I'm trying to get out here and make these coins. Y'all know I give back to my community. Y'all know I do. Help your sister out. Um, And I will see you guys next time. Bye.